So I want to talk about crowdfunding. The idea behind crowdfunding is you take your product or your service and you go to, the, to your consumers, your customers, your crowd, and you say, help us fund this project. So instead of going to a bank or a venture capitalist to get money, produce the product, what you do is you go out into the community and you say, help us fund this project. This originally came out of the art community. So someone wanted to write a new book or create a new record. So they went into the arts community to their fans and said, if you give me some money, I am going to produce this book. Crowdfunding now is actually really interesting. And I want to show you an interesting example. Any of you uh, uh, here is a beekeeper? Anyone is like keeping bees? Every once in a while I find a beekeeper. There's always a beekeeper. Okay. So there's a company called Flow. And what Flow did is, if you know anything about beekeeping, it looks like this. So if you, uh, if you have bees, um, uh, you need to pull out these, uh, these layers and you like, need to smoke the bees out and you scrape off the honey. It's a really involved process. Um, and it's really hard, right? Like you get stung and it's, like, it's unpleasant for the bees, etc. So there's a father and a son. They're amateur beekeepers. And they come up with this brilliant idea. They built over about 10 years a beekeeping machine, which looks like this here. So it's this weird thing where like the bees fly in and then similar to a, uh, a beer tap, you just put the glass underneath it, you pull the tap, and like, it extracts the, the honey. You don't need to smoke out the bees, it's phenomenal. So how do you bring a product like this to market? Back in the old days, what you would do is you would go to your bank and you say, I want to create a beekeeping thing, and your bank would say, sure, of course. Then you go to your friends and family and you say, I want to create this, can you give me some money? And because your friends and family love you, they give you $10,000 and you build this thing and you start selling it to a few people and then you make some more money and you sell it to a few people, etc. What these guys did, they said, you know what, let's do this differently. We will take this and we bring it to a company called Indiegogo. Indiegogo is a, a platform for crowdfunding. And they started a crowdfunding campaign. And again, like the way crowdfunding works is you put up your product and you say, you do basically pre-orders. You say, here's my goal, I need to raise $70,000. If I raise $70,000, I'm going to produce this. And you make a pre-order. So have a wild guess. This is beekeeping, just to remind you. This is a tiny little niche. There's one beekeeper in this whole room. So have a guess how many people committed money to this fundraiser. How much money have they raised? So $70,000 is, by the way, when I saw this first, I saw it when it came out, right? I was like, $70,000 for beekeeping? Are you crazy? And by the way, one of these machines cost about $300 or so. So guess how much money they raised? Any guesses? $500,000? Are you crazy? Come on, it's beekeeping. I mean, you're just like, what? This is not exponential. They raised $13 million. Wow. Because what happened is, that the community of beekeepers around the world found this thing and rallied around it and said, we want to have this thing. It's brilliant. So there's a really interesting way to think about how do you bring a product to market. I've been working with Sony, Sony Corporation in Japan, and they're producing, in, in the meantime, they're producing when they produce new products and they're not sure about the product. So they produce, for example, a watch, uh, which is called the, uh, by the way, Kez watch. So you should, you should like, totally get the watch. Anyway, it's called the Kez watch. And it's a beautiful little watch. It's very niche -y. And what they did is they put it on a crowdfunding platform to see if people would buy it. They don't, didn't even put the Sony brand on it. They just said, like, here's a cool watch. And we run this under a company, uh, under a name of Kez. Uh, Fez, sorry, Fez watch. Fez watch. And we see if someone buys it. They sold a couple million of those, and then they started producing them. So the interesting thing about crowdfunding is it's already bigger than venture capital. Last year, crowdfunding was 34 billion US dollars. Venture capital in Silicon Valley is only about 25 billion US dollars. It's a massive, massive opportunity for you to bring a new product to market, either as a small independent, but increasingly as a big company. 